welcome back to my channel wait well if you're new here hi i'm diamond also known as the quality name here on youtube instagram and technically twitter uh, today's video is going to be uh, me doing or attempting to kind of sort of do barrel twist i don't know <laughs> if you aren't new to the channel then you already know what i'm doing here is just prepping for my hairstyle everything that i use will be listed in the description box below uh, but basically just using distilled water free the roots moisturizing spray and i'm also using sister nandi's setting spray but i'll get into that a little bit later and i am using castor oil to like seal everything in y'all i had the hardest time oh brick squat 217 <laughs> i had the hardest time getting this angle right and i'm just i hope that y'all can see what i'm doing i didn't well i did record the other side but honestly looking back at the footage i was like what are you even doing well all i see is elbow that's all i see is elbow how am i gonna know how to do the hairstyle uh but basically right here what i'm doing is just separating my hair into uh technically it's halves because i already did the other two uh but separating it into a quarter i guess you could say um and i'm just redoing that whole moisturizing process again because this side got a little bit dry like as i was doing uh the other side of my hair which is a whole like like i said we was gonna talk about um, th that's the next video i'm gonna talk about well not the next but it, it's coming up <laughs> i'm gonna talk about uh how my hair requires so much more moisture now that like my hair is dyed and all that other jazz side note we are definitely all ignoring that undercut that needs to be cut i know i just i, I gotta get it together I gotta get it together <laughs> So this is my first time attempting to do barrel twist and I found on the other side of my head when I started I was retwisting and barrel twisting at the same time. So like as I was retwisting I was going down and doing the barrel twist uh, but I found that that was a little bit more difficult for me. So what I decided to do on this side of my head was to just go ahead and retwist all of the locks that are in this section and then um, I would come back and do the barrel twist afterwards. And y'all will see what that process looks like in like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> I mean, she just letting this undercut grow. And no, it's, I'm not growing it out. I just be lazy. And I also don't be wanting to go to the barbershop because then they're like, oh, what, really? You want to cut your hair? And I just be like, uh, 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 <laughs> I don't, I don't. Uh, uh yeah yeah that's what i'd be like <laughs> all right so after you retwist all of the locks in the section you want to just make sure that um all of your locks are in the same direction if that makes any kind of sense so you saw that I like pulled all of them back and I'm just gonna slow it down right here uh, so you can kind of sort of see what I'm doing basically I'm retwisting the lock pulling it over the middle section and wrapping it under the middle section so I take from I pull from the left I pull it over wrap it under and then I pull from the right I take it over and wrap it under and that's literally all that I'm doing um I was trying to get it like as flat as possible and because I have such thick locks I wasn't sure how I was if I was ever going to like this hairstyle to be like completely honest with y'all I do think that when my hair gets a little bit longer that I will like it um a little bit more uh but for now I just thought it was a cool look to you know have my hair just like out of my face um and not up I like how I normally do so I wanted to do just like a little bit of a lower hairstyle but yeah at this point I'm like ah, I don't think God because <laughs> it's definitely uneven and I feel like I've told y'all about this before but my sides they're, they're not even and I feel like nobody's hair is truly even if we really you know really think about it um but uh yeah so here I'm just like wrapping the final locks around um the barrel and yeah that that's pretty much it if y'all are like girl i still don't know what you're doing i understand and i i wouldn't i wouldn't even be mad i i feel your pain because when i was filming i i was like girl i don't even 
what is this even? Are you even recording right now? <laughs> what is even happening? Uh, but yeah, so I take that last one and I wrap it around a little bit more. And then I grab a rubber band and uh, honestly, it was already secured with the locks, which I think is so freaking fire. Like its ability to just stay. See, so look, it, it ain't going nowhere. And I don't, I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a rubber band on it. See, I was, I was kind of hyped. Um, but yeah, so I grab a rubber band and then I just place that on top of that last uh, lock that I did. But side note, you guys, uh, it's about to be a year that I have been on YouTube. Like, oh, what? That is so crazy. I'm just so glad to be here and glad that I like finally started this journey and so honored that you guys have been, you know, with me just going, you know, doing the do. I'm just so, 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 so grateful and thankful to, to be here, you know? grateful okay just grateful for all of y'all i am filming a video about uh my journey on youtube and what all of this this whole process has looked like and felt like and if y'all want like any tips or um yeah like i'm super down to to provide what i don't know what tips i could provide but i'm down <laughs> Um, yeah, so I definitely sped up this one and I'm attempting to show you guys the same process again. This angle, you guys, like somebody get me a videographer because obviously I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying. I'm trying. That's the thing. I'm trying. I'm proud of myself for trying. This was just easier for me to retwist first and then go back and do the barrel. I have seen videos of people like going and retwisting and then just doing the barrel straight. And like, I told y'all, I tried that on the other side. Yeah, it worked, but it also felt like a little bit more tougher. I don't know. I don't know. It was interesting. Then hair flip. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, so you want to start off like a two two strand twists almost, if that makes any kind of sense. And you wanna wrap those around each other first. And this is creating your base barrel, essentially. See, I still don't know which direction my locks are supposed to <laughs> supposed to go. Not me almost being three years in and I still don't know, but it's okay, we, we, we gonna make it, we gonna make it. So then you take from one side and then you wrap that around your base barrel twist. And then you take from the other side and you wrap it around your base barrel twist. And basically all I'm doing is pulling from one side, wrapping it around the middle, and then pulling from the other side and wrapping it around the middle. And because, like I said, my babies are like so thick, that's how they get the fullness inside of the barrel. Um, but if y'all have any like suggestions for making it flatter, you know? <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible, but yeah, I just been, I don't, I've been craving like flat hairstyles, which is uh, so, so frustrating. Cause it's like, I love my babies and I'm so grateful for them, but I'm also feeling like I am in this transitory period of wanting change. I just, I just want something different. Um, so I'm glad, I'm so glad that they're versatile. So I'm able to do things like this. Um, but yeah, I don't know what you guys think. No, anybody, maybe. <laughs> All right, grabbing that rubber band to secure it. Oh my gosh, I just realized I do not have a growth topic this week. <sighs> yeah, we actually gonna film a whole video about that because it's been it's been a doozy couple of days, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so I didn't necessarily like how the ends looked or how, like the back. I didn't know what to do. It's giving me very much so alien, extraterrestrial in the back. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know, but it's me. Because my mom was like, oh, it looks fine to me. But I'm like, looks like I have two horns. And then, but they're not, I don't know. I don't know. So then I was like, well, maybe I can do two ponytails. Like, what would that look like? And I think I show you guys. Yeah. I, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here it is. 
just so I tried two ponytails in the back and I mean like it was okay like it was cool it was still you know uneven because my hair is uneven so I was just like eh and then I also tried last but not least to just do a regular ponytail and honestly this is how I kept it just because it was easier for me to like sleep on not my favorite but hey here we are new hairdo it is what it is um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'm so grateful that you, you watch, you, you got to this point, you're, you're the best, you're the greatest. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I think that's it, that, that, that's it for, for this one. Uh, yeah, this, this is the final, the final. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> But also, I didn't show y'all how I did my edges on this video, but here's like a quick clip that I did upload to my Instagram so y'all could get a little view of the actual final. Yeah. I'll see y'all next week. Okay. Peace.